Hargeza city is the capital of Somaliland, a self-declared republic and breakaway country from the Watton Somalia. Having had very successful transition of power through democratic elections in June 2010, the country is well set for esteemed economic growth and improvement of its dilapidated physical infrastructure. Hosting a population of over 800,000 inhabitants, the city faces several challenges in water supply. The situation will even worsen in the future because of high natural population growth, urbanization from rural areas, and upsurge of refugees from the neighboring countries. The actual water supply system is not adequate even to satisfy the minimum present population needs. To guarantee the safe and economically sustainable development of Hargeza, there is a pressing need to upgrade the existing water supply system. Since early 70s, no extra wells have been drilled or large transmission pipes installed to satisfy the water demand from the steadily increasing population. The entire city is supplied only with two 12-inch pipes constructed by a Chinese company in early 1970s for a population of less than 200,000 inhabitants with much lower water-consuming lifestyle and economic activity. The pipes are shallow and exposed in many areas and are often overpressured, pumping water 22 hours a day, every day. Uh, the current water system that the, the capital uses right now that was designed by the Chinese in the 70s. For a city of about 800,000 people, and as I mentioned earlier, we're pushing almost a million people, 60% of the water that is used here in Hargeisa is trucked in. On a daily basis, 10,400 cubic meters of water is pumped to the city. Out of this, 40% of the water cannot be accounted for or is lost. According to experts, this volume of loss is way beyond the 15% ordinary loss and is attributed to possible illegal water connections and loss through leakages in pumps and during transportation. Over 90% of the population do not receive piped water and rely on water kiosks and vendors who transport the commodity using donkeys, lorries or other means. From these retailing points, final consumers end up paying up to 10 times more than the charges of Hargeza Water Agency. Existing water shortage tanks that were built in early 70s cannot supply the large city population. With this unreliable supply, shortage of water still represents a big problem here. Water is pumped from 13 wells in Ged de Ble to a booster station at Biokhada which boosts the commodity further into the Chinese reservoir. The water is then distributed to the city by gravity. In spite of the numerous challenges, Hargeza Water Agency and the Ministry of Mining, Energy and Water Resources continue to supply water to the city inhabitants. <laughs> شدال كبيه صوصار كان جيد قبل ما بيا خضر بها النقطة أنا جالس كبحنا سبير بارك أنا قادرنا وين واركد أنا واتر وحنا نقول إن هاي بيلس يستلم وين عكسنا كم بترايزرا أفريقيا سمعت من قاعد وصل لكن أنا ما أحب ما نفكر صناعي قولي هذا كسر إنك نهاوش فقوة أنا يحك في سرعة كان وحنا أنا جالس إنه إحنا أفريقيا سمعت من قاعد وصل Water problems here are a result of poor management of water resources. Lack of funds to purchase new equipment to rehabilitate the existing infrastructures, lack of technical know how in water handling and treatment, and limited water supply from the wells. At present, Hargeza Water Agency is incurring huge bills for maintenance of water pumping generators and machinery. 
out of the monthly income, the agency pays 15% to salary, over 70% on maintenance and fuel, remaining with no money for possible expansion of the capacity of the water supply. Africa 70 worked closely with Somaliland Ministry of Mining, Energy and Water Resources in a European Union-funded project to uplift the water delivery service and infrastructures in Hargeza. Since its inception in 2003, Africa 70 has supported the ministry in putting up generators, providing equipment, maintaining the existing infrastructure and offering technical training to the staff. One of the main interventions was even producing a new billing system that is the one currently adopted by the agency. Because before, each boreal was equipped with pump, generators, water meter. After our intervention, everything has been, uh, had been centralized at a booster station in, uh, in Gete. We provided even uh, all the overhead electrical lines that are connecting the boreals with the, the pumping station and everything. So far, Africa 70 has been working on a master plan geared to holistically improve Hargeza water infrastructures through four key areas, namely rehabilitation and securing existing infrastructures, increasing the water production through the development and exploitation of new water sources, rehabilitation and extension of the urban distribution system, replacement of the main adduction pipeline from Gid Deble to Hargeza town. In relation to the second objective, the project has developed a hydrogeological study and mathematical model of the aquifer to identify new sources to be exploited. We have a first basin uh, that is northward of Gedeble that has been explored by two study wells uh, drilled by Africa 70s in 2007, if I'm not wrong, which gave us good hope for uh, a possible additional 2,000 cubic meters per day. So we have Gedeble, here is this small uh, basin called Hora Hadley. Eastward of Hora Hadley, we have uh, a long basin, more or less long, like uh, Gedeble, that is, or, uh, is called Las Dure, from the name of um, a wadi crossing it, in which there are already uh, three private wells that exploit this aquifer for uh, rural, uh, for irrigation mostly. Uh, this basin could constitute the second additional source uh, for the town, the double of the, the Gedeble Basin. The industrial plan of the first phase foresees the drilling of new boreholes and the re-equipping of the existing ones in Gedeble, which will increase the water supply by 1,500 cubic meters per day. The construction of the infiltration gallery in the seasonal river in Haraf is expected to increase the supply by 1,000 cubic meters per day. The development of new well fields in Hora Adli is expected to increase the supply by 2,500 cubic meters per day. All these interventions will increase the general water supply to Hargeza from the current 10,400 cubic meters per day to 15,400 cubic meters per day, translating to 50% increment of water supply. This will drastically reduce the hassle of long queue at night and staying for days without water. For the above actions, Africa 70 has collected reliable data on the amount of exploitable water and has developed final designs both for the rehabilitation of infrastructures and the development and exploitation of new sources. An investment and financial plan was produced, presented and discussed with Africa 70 counterparts. A new management model based on public-private partnership was designed to improve the water management system. But what we're really going to try and look for, if we couldn't find this money from anywhere, is to perhaps 
attract private investors. And when I, when I say private investors, we're talking about local investors as well as uh, foreign investors if, if we find an, the interest. And set up a mechanism for us to bring in these investors, uh, show them a decent rate of return on their investment, and a time for them to really kind of recoup their money that they have invested, and lease the operation and maintenance of the system and have a contract with them for an extended period of time to make sure that they meet the, the supply the need the supply need of the city change of offices as a result of the formation of the new government resulted in a rapid and dramatic change of local actors and their views in light of this some assumptions have been set aside and lately the focus has been on creating a single private company which will be responsible for managing the entire circle of supply. The master plan has been based on possible assumptions, estimates and accurate evaluations, while the industrial plan is the development of detailed designs carried out starting from the assumptions and estimates included in the master plan. All debt burials must be cleaned through high lifting, re-equipped with new equipment. Another one that is a priority, for example, is the replacement of the main pipeline, adduction pipeline, now linking the Gedeble uh, well fields to the town. Another intervention that has been uh, designed in the industrial plan is a new primary distribution network in the town that includes the construction of new pipelines starting from the main res uh, Chinese reservoir in town and uh, joining this uh, tank with new tank that we have uh, designed in town in order to increase, improve the coverage of the water supply system to the town. The European Union delegation in October 2010 took a tour of the water supply system in Ged de Blay, Harafa and Hora Adley to witness what the situation is like. We realize that there is a number of investments that need uh, really uh, a reinforcement because uh, the population growth uh, makes it that the, the infrastructure that exists now, it's not uh, enough to fulfill the needs of the Somaliland people. The master plan, together with other plans funded by the European Union, have been developed to define the upgrade of Hargeza water supply in order to ensure clean and reliable water for the population and the commercial activities of the city. Reckoning that a lot still needs to be done, Hargeza residents should realize the need to conserve and actively participate in sustainable development of this important resource. The community has a role to report on illegal water connections and other vandalisms which deny the authority revenue that could be used to upgrade the services rendered. <laughs> Rain water harvesting to supplement the limited supply from the water agency and pay water bills promptly for effective service delivery will contribute to improve the situation. Through the planned interventions and the support of the population, Hargeza will have enough reliable and safe water.